Hey folks, welcome back to the horde. Kind of, kind of a messed up uh, week this week. Um, I had to work last night, Sunday night. Don't cry for me. I'm getting time back for it, but I had to work last night. Got home um, about two in the morning. Then I had to take the wife to the doctor this morning and spend a couple of hours there. Um, it appears as if she's all good, but now I'm kind of getting back to getting a few things done. But in the meantime, before getting anything done, I had to come up with another distraction. Anyway, today is uh, it's about 4.30, 5.13, Monday, about 58, 59 degrees. Um, been a breezy, cool day here in the Hudson Valley. Not complaining. I like it cool. So, while I was at work, it's actually a quiet night. I'm doing coverage, and it was a nice dead night, like like quiet nights. Anyway, next thing I know, I take a quick look at Craigslist, and look what shows up. Yes, just what I need: another bike. Um, before I go through the price, uh, this was bought as a parts bike. Um, everything, literally everything, is seized on it. Like this gas tank. I think it leaks. The story on it is, it was stored under a deck. It came with a seat. The seat, and even the, uh, the cushion isn't horrible. The problem is the uh, metal part all rusted away. Gone. No more. That's what's left of the uh, seat pa the uh, seat pa uh, pan. The seat pan. So, there's that. Here's the... Uh, the plastic is actually in pretty decent shape. Hopefully that buffs off. And it's kind of, I don't know why they put this cut in it. But the plastic's in pretty decent shape. So, there you go, the full visual. Um, this tire, given that I can put my foot in it, I don't think it's going to live. And this tire, given that I can put a foot into it, is not going to live. The front fender's in nice shape. The headlight bucket's in pretty decent shape. Uh, it's missing pieces. Um, obviously no suspension, so this is just an ATC 185. I do not see the sticker. Looks like it was on here recently and somebody pulled it off. Um, the motor is there. Let's get this off again. Anyway, the motor's here. The recoil's here. Seized. Chain seized, rear end seized. So, geez, I mean the front fender, I mentioned it was nice. So, what did I give for this thing? I gave a uh, 100 bucks, figuring basically I wanted the plastics, the front fender, back fender, and the recoil starter. I mean the shifter's there, though the... Uh, this is an all down shifter. It, the tranny seems to be there. Every bike has a story. The story on this one was it had a tire issue. They replaced one tire, did not do the other two. It got parked underneath the deck. It sat under the deck for the last 18 years until it was um, purchased um, a purchased or given to this guy Pat I think the guy Pat um, 
is a Craigslist regular quite regular now that I know who he is and I have his phone number I could keep a little bit of an eye out for him he says for a Honda stuff like this he's gonna let me know whenever he sees it and I'll get first crack at it you know maybe maybe not you know stories right everybody's got a story um, he was trying to buy one of my Honda CT70s. I really didn't show you guys my fleet of Honda CT70s. I should show you them. They're uh, they're quite quite interesting. There's a whole fleet of those also. They, yeah, they haven't made any of the videos really. Um, it's a shame because this thing this thing looks like in its day it was in really pretty nice shape. I mean the tank isn't all kicked in. Uh, the frame isn't bent up. I mean, it's rusty as hell. The front forks are not smashed in. A lot of times, um, you'll see the front forks on bikes like this pushed back, pushed back to the point where uh, the fender is rubbing on the uh, on the riser bar here on this, and we don't see any of that. So it's it's a shame. The motor looks like in its day was in decent condition. So I gave the guy a hundred bucks. Basically, I bought the plastic and the recoil from it for the hundred bucks. My thoughts are, I could probably get this engine unseized without too much trouble and get it running again. We'll see. Um, I'm hoping the rear end unseizes because they're handy too. Um, I paid a hundred bucks for it, given that I can use the parts elsewhere, it was worth a hundred bucks to me. Uh, there is no way that one could economically bring this thing back to life. If one had hopes of bringing this back to life, let's assume we could get the engines unseized, you got to throw fifty bucks worth of gaskets at it, then you got to throw a carburetor, which is twenty-five. Um, you got to throw a gas tank on it. I mean, that gas tank is done. So, uh, if you put a plastic tank on it, or you buy one off of eBay or whatever, so you're at uh, 25 and 50, and call a gas tank 100, so you're at 175. You need three tires, 175, another 150, and then you got uh, you need a chain. I mean, you're at three and a quarter. I mean, you'd have to put four or five hundred bucks into this thing. And then you still got to figure out what to do with the seat. You know, you got a mess here. This would, uh, if you got this bike for free, you could put five hundred dollars into restoring it to have a five hundred dollar bike. You might as well go out and buy a bike and not restore it. Might as well go out and buy a nice, complete bike in decent shape. But from a parts point of view, the plastic and the uh, recoil are worth that much money to me. Looks looks like the exhaust may live. I'm not sure. It depends how well it comes off the engine. I mean, the back of it shot. You can see the back shot there. But all right. So enough about my toys. Craigslist deal, 100 bucks. Bike number 11 so far this year, right? That guy came out of the back of the, uh, of the, um, what do you call it? The Red Rider. See, I'm still recovering from swapping shifts here. So that's not a member of the class of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and number eleven actually lives in the garage. My 185 was a little too pretty to, to leave outside, so she lives in here. All right, folks, live, love, and have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow. I really want to stop screwing around and get that big red running, so hopefully tomorrow I'll get everything caught up that I need to catch up, then I can get to working on that. Uh, till then, uh, take care, and uh, try not to let your, your Honda 185 S's rust. Thanks for watching. 
Thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for commenting.